LGBTQ rights are human rights. 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 LGBTQ rights are human rights today, but it wasn't always this way. And God destroyed the city with brimstone and fire from heaven. Thus was Sodom and the practice of homosexuality judged. Do you think that they are in any way a danger to our society? I believe uh, they are, in my own humble opinion. Just like anybody else, I think they should be locked up. For Canada's lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans and queer communities, Evolving social attitudes have resulted in a number of important changes in the law over the years, thankfully. A lower court ruling that would make every practicing homosexual in Canada liable to imprisonment for life was upheld today by the Supreme Court of Canada in a 3-2 decision. The majority ruling dismissed an appeal by Everett George Clippert, a 40-year-old mechanic sentenced to an indefinite period of preventative detention as a dangerous sexual offender. Up until 1967, the state actually believed it had the right to peer into the nation's bedrooms. That was before the now famous statement by then Justice Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau, the statement that stands as a turning point in modern social Canadian history. Take this thing on, uh, on um, uh, homosexuality. I think the, the view we take here is that uh, there's no place for the state in the bedrooms of the nation, and I think that, uh, you know, what's done in private between adults uh, doesn't concern the criminal code. Until 1977, homosexuality was still sufficient grounds for deportation from Canada. Until 1996, lesbians and gays in Canada were not protected under our national human rights legislation. In many parts of the country, gays and lesbians could not designate their partners as beneficiaries for health and dental plans, pension plans, or life insurance. I'm proud of our party's record as a champion of human rights. Our commitment to equality and dignity of all people, both at home and around the world, is one of the defining characteristics of our party. Pierre Trudeau entrenched the fundamental rights and freedoms of all Canadians in our Constitution, with our charter. In 1982, the Liberal government of Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau adopted the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. That document has become a cornerstone of rights for the LGBTQ community, as it has for many other minorities in Canada. As I was a Minister of Justice when uh, we debated in the House of Commons and in the Senate uh, the question of Charter of Rights and Freedom, and we patriated the Constitution, it was the beginning of a lot of progress in human rights. And at the end of my tenure as the Prime Minister, uh, we were one of the first countries to uh, recognize legally the uh, same-sex marriage. So it's just to show to all the Liberals that uh, we are always been at the forefront of human rights in Canada. I think the important thing to know was that, was that the, at all times, Jean Chrétien was completely supportive of this. He saw it as a Section 15 issue, he saw it as a human rights issue, he saw it as a clear area of discrimination, and he was going to change that. Both at the provincial and federal level, Liberals continued the push toward equality. Liberals understand that when we as a nation protect minority rights, we are protecting our multicultural nature. We are reinforcing the Canada we cherish. We are saying proudly and unflinchingly that defending rights, not just those that happen to apply to us, not just those that everyone else approves of, but all fundamental rights. This is the core of what it means to be a Canadian. I remember in 1982 as Mayor of Toronto going to the Ontario Legislature to support an amendment uh, to the Ontario Human Rights Code uh, to put in sexual orientation as being prohibited grounds for discrimination. To do the right thing was to respect the equality right provided for by the Canadian Charter of Rights. And uh, that was my deep conviction, and I'm proud that we've decided to move forward 
in preparing that uh, the bill that we uh, we then sent to the Supreme Court of Canada. And today, you know what? I'm proud that we have uh, probably the best legislation of that kind in the world. Freedom and equality are not the exclusive purview of the few, but the cherished gifts of all citizens. Because I believe in a Canada where rights are safeguarded, liberties are protected, and all Canadians are treated equally under the law. When it comes to the matter of rights, I don't care if the numbers are 10 to 1, I will stand by my conscience and I will vote for what I believe is the Charter. The Charter is distinctly Canadian, embodying our values of equi equality, freedom and respect. But the next frontier now for us really is, is the world. And for Canada to be a champion of human rights, we also have to be a champion of, of, of gay rights. That's, that's, that's the reality of, of our situation today. That's who we are as Canadians. By 2004, the wheels were set in motion for what would become the pinnacle of Liberal Party success in promoting and supporting LGBTQ rights in Canada. It started with the Young Liberals of Canada, 